Hello all and welcome back to Dom's Devotions. The theme is still don't throw in the towel and I know none of you have quit yet. Let's keep it going. We're going to be continuing this theme but today my sub theme is going to be never lost a battle. That's the kind of God that we serve. Before I move on I'm just going to share with you a passage of scripture which is Judges chapter 7 and I'll be reading from verse 7. And the Bible says, the Lord said to Gideon, I will deliver you with the 300 men who lapped and hand the Midianites over to you. But everyone else is to go home. And I find this passage so fitting that the Bible lets us know that Gideon was here with an army of people. And the Bible said he started with 22,000 people. And with the 22,000 people, he then stripped the numbers down to 10,000 people. Now, you need to understand the Bible said that the people in a place called Herod, and that represents fear. That's what the word means, actually means fear. These people were living in fear. And what God was saying to Gideon, you're starting with 22,000. I need to strip it down to 10,000. But God didn't even stop at that. The Bible said that he brought Gideon down to a river. And when he brought Gideon down to the river... The Bible says that the 300 men who did not leap into the river and drink the water, but those ones that would still stand firm and continue drinking the water, that did not look likewise to the dogs. The Bible says that those people were selected to go on and fight. So Gideon went from 22,000 people to 300 people. Why did God do that to Gideon? Well, God was saying to Gideon, like many of us now, that I'm going to strip down your number. Where you're going, you cannot afford to take excess baggage with you. Where I'm taking you, I need to make sure that the people I have standing in the gap, standing firm. The Bible says, stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord, of the people that are still prepared to fight. Why is that fitting? Because the Bible said that the next place where the 300 soldiers moved to represented a place of security. God brought them to shelter. God brought them to refuge. So see, we see a transition between fear and a place of safety. And that is what God is trying to say to you today. My question is, how many people can God count on as a time such as this? Are you one of the 22,000 people when they're saying we're going into battle, you turn away? Or are you one of those that want to look at presentation? You're concerned about how you look. You're concerned about how it sounds. You're concerned about the vision of how other people might interpret it to be. But what God is saying, I don't want you to listen to the voice of other people. I need you to listen to my voice. I dare people to believe that we allow God's voice to be greater than man's voice. And that's what God was saying to Gideon. Gideon, the people that I need to stand with you, the people that I need to be by your side are winners, are people that are still wanting to be victorious. And the Bible lets us know that the reason why God had stripped it down from 22,000 people to only 300 is because God says, I need you to know, Gideon, that I gave you the victory. And that's what God wants to say to you today. I'm going to give you the victory. But when you get the victory, don't believe it's yourself, but it's because God is with you. That is why you have the victory. And what God was saying to Gideon is that the 300 people, the Bible says that they were making a joyful noise and they sounded like 10,000 people. How can 300 people sound like 10,000? Because when you make a joyful noise unto God, whether it's screaming, whether it's singing, whether it's shouting, you can sound like a multitude of people. And that is what God is saying today. Make a joyful noise unto him. Don't worry about how many people are with you. The Bible says when two or three in gathered, and that's all you need. But from 22,000 to 300 people, these people were making such a noise that the other army had ran because they sounded like 22,000 people. This time that we are living in is a time where God wants to bring us to our knees, where God wants us to kneel before him and ask what is it that you need me to do because I know you're going to be victorious and I know what number I want to be I don't want to be in the 22,000 I don't want to be one of those 10,000 I want to be in the 300 that was not afraid to go into battle and still have the victory and that's what I want you to say today you will have 
the victory because that's the kind of God that we serve. And in this time that we are living in, you look at organizations, you will look at structures, you will look at ministries, and you're going to see what people are made of. Are they the 22,000 that walk away at the sound of battle? Are they the 10,000 that are worried about presentation, how they sound and how they look? Or are they one of the 300 where I don't care what the other people are doing, I am going to remain firm in God because he is my stabilizer. Say it with me, victory is coming because God has never lost a battle. Tell somebody, doesn't that sound so enthusiastic? Doesn't that sound so sweet to be on the winning side and know the person in which we serve has never lost, so he's not about to lose. And I'm going to be one of the 300 where you can count on me. Come what may, I'm still going to be making my noise because God has never lost a battle. God bless you all. God has never lost a battle and the victory lies in you. The question is, which one are you? Are you one of those 300 that is still willing to fight? And I believe that you are. Be encouraged, be inspired because God has never lost a battle. So he's not about to lose a battle now. God bless you.